Next.js has built in ways in order for us to load images on the web. But by loading our Cloudinary images using the image tag, we're passing our images already optimized by Cloudinary into the Next.js optimization toolset, basically doing double the work. On top of that, we're limited with what we can do, not being able to use the full capabilities of Cloudinary tech. Instead, we can use Next Cloudinary, which gives you all the features you love of Cloudinary inside of a nicely wrapped component to use inside of a Next.js project. Once Next Cloudinary is installed and you've imported your CLD image component, you can simply replace the existing image tag with CLD image. And instead of trying to reference the entire Cloudinary URL, we can pass in only the public ID to all of our images to make sure they're loading directly from Cloudinary. Once that change is made, we can see that our images are now loaded directly from the Cloudinary CDN. We can also see that by default, all these images are loaded with F auto and Q auto, meaning for F auto, Cloudinary is going to automatically determine the most modern and efficient format to serve to the browser requesting the image. And for Q auto, it's going to determine how much it can compress the image without actually distorting the image itself, but making sure that we're not wasting precious kilobytes in size. Because the CLD image component wraps the image component, this works the same with sizing, where if I pass in sizes of 50W since I have two columns, we can see that all of my responsive sizes breakpoints are generated all using Cloudinary URLs. We can even take advantage of more awesome features from Cloudinary, including dynamic cropping and resizing, where currently we have wide images and tall images, but we want them to all look uniform. So for this example, I'm gonna pass in a width and a height, both of 600 pixels, I'm going to pass a crop in of fill where we can now see all of our images are formatted nicely as a square where we're also using gravity of auto to make sure that we're automatically detecting the subject and centering it as best as we can. To learn more about using the CLD image component with Next Cloudinary, head over to nextcloudinary.spacejelly.dev where you can find the usage, the configuration documentation, as well as a bunch of examples including background removal and zoom and pan. So in review, in order to get the best out of our images inside of a Next.js application, we can use the Next Cloudinary library. Where after importing our CLD image component, we can drop in, replace our CLD image component for the existing image tag, gaining a full variety of different features using Cloudinary tech, including optimization, dynamic cropping and resizing, all delivered from the Cloudinary CDN.